As I was saying, we got a book about charm or a book about kindness. Your choice. Zorro. The man in the mask stood up for the weak and fought violently against injustice. Yep. While you read this, be sure to pay close attention to the greatness of Zorro in detail. Hey, oh. hey. It's alright. I've actually gotten into fishing lately, although it's just pond fishing from time to time. I can't go sea fishing because it, I get seasick easily. So much for my dream of being a sailor. Oh right, when people think of sailing the high seas, they tend to think of pirates. Even though they're ruffians who plod in other ships and coastal settlements for force. For some reason, they end up getting romanticised. Now then, get a new coup. I only ask you in the class, I don't care about anyone else, I only ask you questions. Who was the pirate who said that he hid his treasure in a certain place just before he was executed? William Kidd, Captain Hook, or John Silver? Got it. Oh my god, you actually got one right. You actually got one right. That's right. The answer is William Kidd, also known as Captain Kidd. Kidd was a merchant who had raised money from aristocrats. He should have been subdued pirates. In order to turn his commission into a profit, he ended up becoming a pirate himself. How did he know that? He's smart. I say this every day. Why do we keep saying this every day? I have no idea. <laughs> The money he used for his exploits was essentially for aristocracies. He himself wasn't considered rich. Still, several novels were written based on his legend. People still took, still look for his treasure today. By the way, I've heard that there's an island in Kyushu where kids' treasure is set to sleep. Yep. Kids' secret treasures, huh? Regardless of his actual worth, there's still value in letting that many people dream about. Raining. Wanna get a mentor today? How many mm. days we got left? Six days. Right, this is a tough one. Do we go to the diner and study in the rain? Take advantage of a rain day, or do we go and see Takemi?
right. Ray's keeping the customers away. Welcome, may I take your order? So we're we gonna go for guts or kindness. Get a coffee. I got it. I'll be right back with your order. Mm. Man. But you some goods. Hey. <laughs> nice. Alright, three knowledge, one goods, not a bad trade. Wanna head back? Enjoy it today. Ah, right. You're back. This is just my suggestion again today. Uh, we got no choice. We've gotta do it. Yeah. Kawakami time. The the good thing about Kawakami is her confidence involves you getting more time to do stuff. Her her skills that she gives you. You can get time to cut school to do stuff like read books and you can get extra time to do things. That's that's what Kawakami is good for. So she's quite an important confidant. Alright. Let's hire a maid. Oh no, I don't have the guts. Fuck. <laughs> I got no guts! Shit! Fuck! What do I do? I don't have the guts to call her. Probably close to leveling up. Guts. I know what we can do. There is something we can do. We can go to the DVD shop. It's an emergency guts building exercise. We need guts. See, I'm not that far behind you, and I've, I've got level 3 guts, so I don't know what I've done differently. Please be open. Oh. Yeah, here we go. We can rent a DVD and get some goods. I swear. Good day. Charms, kindness, efficiency. Here we go, goods. The X folders. Yeah, I specifically use the DVDs for when we need to for, for building emergency stats. That's what that's what I use them for. That's why I haven't mentioned them until now. 
I should write some. Save. Skelty. But just look at these bodies. They can't be from Earth. It's a story about an investigator who searches for the truth behind the eerie supernatural incident. Hey! That must really show he's so ominous. I'm slowly feeling more and more scared. Hey, hey! I was holding my breath so much. Phew, that was intense. They have really, they really held me in suspense. You get some guts. <laughs> Hell yeah! Oh man, we still haven't got enough. What? Why are we so far behind on guns? What's going on? Oh, I know why. It's because we haven't got very far with the doctor. You get guts each time you hang out with her. I was, I'm was, i level 7 to KB. So I've got 7 extra good stats. Morning. What's up? By the way, the exhibit's till the end of the week, huh? We did what we could, now we wait for the results. Let's study. No way, man. Nope. That's one option. That's a definite no. School's enough for studying. Let's exercise, man. Nope. I need guts, actually, Ryuji. I might go and tell some lady to fuck off. That'll give me guts. Right. Can we hang out with Takeda today? Yes, she's available. Let's level up some guts. are so annoying. I'm here to get some goods, lady. In that case, my little guinea pig, there's something I want to test out today. Please head to the exam oh, then. room. Please head into the examination room. <sighs> okay, that's all for today. If you're feeling okay, you can go home now. Hello? Hello, Dr. Dike Dr. Takemi's Clinic of Internal Medicine. What? Again? That's... well... that ship's already sailed, so... <sighs> Ugh, what a pain. Yeah. You remember that girl from the other day, the chief of staff Oyamada's patient? Her dad's been bringing her here to be treated, even though I referred them to another hospital. I even told them about the medical error I made. Was it really your fault? Ah. Hmm. The medical error was well documented. Everyone in my field knows about it. I led the development of a new drug for an incurable illness called Crawford's Ends Disease. Although I wasn't the one who administered the medicine, it was a cause. It was the cause of the error. With Crawford Ends, certain with Crawford Ends, certain cells indiscriminately attack other cells throughout the body. When it reaches the muscles, the patient slowly begins to die. There hasn't been much progress made on it, partly because there haven't been many cases of it. I worked with a pharmaceutical company that had reached the final stage of production, but one day I was suddenly removed from my position. That chief of staff, Oyamada, my superior at the time, took over the entire operation. I don't know if he wanted the glory of developing a new drug or to become rich and famous, but... He made careless mistakes and rushed completion so he could use it on a patient called Miwa. Miwa-chan had a reaction and lapsed into critical condition. The chief panicked and laid the blame on me. Miwa-chan and her family resented me. No matter what I said, I couldn't change how they felt about me. It's not too late. That's fine. Well, yeah. that doesn't matter. The development of the medicine was suspended, so I had no reason to stay at the hospital. At least now I can keep working as a general practitioner, on my own terms, with my guinea pig. That's the new medicine I've been trying out on you. This version is the final stage of testing. It searches for those cells that take the offensive and destroys them upon detection. That's why it's harmless for people who don't have the disease. Probably. That's good. <laughs> you have a lot of faith in me. Thank you, my little guinea pig. Hey. Protagonist nod. You better not flake on me late in this game. 
I'm inching close to the finish line, but I need your help to reach it. In exchange, I can offer you medicine at a special price. I'm carrying on, you guinea pig. Hell yeah, level up. Add support items where we can buy All right. a very important item now. We just need to get to level 7 to get a discount. Hmm. Now, what should I do about that girl and her dad? Be mean and scary to them as it worked. It's been a while since I've had to deal with this kind of nuisance. It's stressing me out. Oh, sorry. That's all I wanted to talk to you about. You can go home now. Guts. Give me guts. More guts. Give me guts, damn it. Bye. Same again. More guts. More guts. We need more guts. Oh. Gimme, give gimme give guts. Gimme, give gimme give guts. We have to level up now. We've got like. They're all dead. How could? There's no way you've could got less guts than me. The larvae. It must have infected them got into their brains. We need to find those samples, Skelty, fast. It's a story about you. you know <sighs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Why would you persevere it? Preserve it. Curiosity killed a cat, you know. Oh. So we finished watching the x folders now. Guts. Glorious guts. Finally, there we go. We can call Kawakami tomorrow. All right. Okay. Alright, bedtime, I say. Ah, ah, at you! Sorry. Sorry, I couldn't hold it in. You'll have to make some kind of excuse for me. Now for today's train news. Today's headlines are Employee posts new ch chef selfie. Wild Dog Burger claims to have fired the employee in question. Those close to the man voice their surprise, vouching for his seriousness at work. Is Shibuya unsafe? Crime rising. Police are issuing warnings for people to be wary of scams. Hotspots of Tokyo. Tickets for the Madarame exhibit are available until June 5th. The Madarame exhibit goes on until June the 5th. That's the end of this week. We'll show him what a change of heart means. Well then. All right. We can pull ourselves over to the DVD shop and take back our emergency DVD. Big Bang Burger. Tough decision today. We can hang out with both Arn and Ryuji. Let's go buy a burger, fuck it. <laughs> Welcome. 
A Venus salad. No, I want a Big Bang Burger. Some Big Bang Burgers. Five, please. Thank you. Arigato gozaimashita. I guess now we wait. The suspense is seriously killing me. Do you think my heart has turned out to be harder than I thought? Do you think maybe we can talk some more about it? Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking then let's about. head back to in in Okashira Park. We can talk there, and that's a tongue twister. Hey! Oh, look at those ducks over there. They must be a family. This place seriously feels amazing. It's not even that far from Shibuya, but it feels so different here. Hey. You know, Tokyo is so strange. There are tons of people and tons of stores, yet there are still duck-filled parks here too. That's everything, but it feels like I can't understand any of it. It's honestly kind of scary. I know what you mean. Alright, oh, you only just moved here, Shembley. Hey. When I first got here, I had a super tough time adjusting. It's so crowded, and everyone walks really fast, almost like they're angry or something. Even at school, I was only ever... the foreigner. Nobody really knew me, they just spread rumours. I thought maybe my looks were the problem. I even considered dyeing my hair black to match everyone else. You say that, but not everyone has this is anime, you like whatever colour hair you want. <laughs> but that was when Shio talked to me. The first thing she said was, to comic you said, your paint suck. That's hilarious. I thought she was just making fun of me like everyone else, but that wasn't her intention. <laughs> According to her, they were so bad that I just that she just had to tell me. Pretty mean, huh? Still, that was the first time someone here talked to me about mentioning my looks. <laughs> we sort of just grew, grew closer after that, and she has been my best friend ever since. That's not why we're here, though. There's something else I want. I need to talk to you about. Hey. Do you remember what I told you the last time we came here about that female thief in the anime I used to watch? Well, I thought of something. Tell me. Hey, <laughs> it's gonna knock your socks off. Um. You know how the villains in those shows are always going on about world domination? Well, even though they get beaten by the heroes every time, they never give up. That means they must have really solid hearts. And that's why I'm going to try and learn from them. Good idea. Right. So I've decided. Yes. I'm gonna star in action movies. Uh, good luck with that. Thanks. Your support really helps. <laughs> All right. I'm making this my ultimate goal for the future. You know, I've never really thought much about what I want to do in life, but now I have an objective. Thanks. And that only happened because of talking to you, Shembly. Thanks. Oh yeah, protagonist nod. Level four. All right. Well, if I want to be in action movies, I'll need to work on my actions. I wonder how many sit-ups I'll have to do. Wait, Ryuji said he knows a good gym. I should ask him for advice. Oh, yeah! Oh, and I need to tell Shio that I have a new goal. She'll definitely be happy to hear that. Come on, let's head home! Let's jog to the station. Ah, you're back. I assume you're all curious, so I'm sending you an update just in case. Madarame is still bedridden. He hasn't spoken a single word. My apologies for not being able to provide anything more solid. Alright, it's not your fault, don't worry about it. Although it is June already. The exhibition will be ending soon. At least it doesn't seem like Madarame's had a mental shutdown. But there's no point if you don't ever change your heart and call off that legal action bullshit. Was this how it was when you defeated Kamashida? Yeah, pretty much. 
Yeah, Kamashita was out of school for a while. Either way, there has been no palpable progress. It appears only the target themselves can tell whether or not their heart has changed. It's a goddamn pain in the ass, but yeah. We just gotta hear from Adorami himself what the deal is. Yeah, there's nothing we can really do. Let's just try waiting a little longer. Alright. It's finally called Kawakami after they get these guys to fuck off. Did you see the news about Wild Duck Burger? Stuff like that happening makes me not want to eat there ever. There's just no excuse for it. Besides, that guy says he doesn't remember doing it right. He doesn't feel bad about it at all. Thank you, the curry was delicious. <sighs> Why did I take a kid in like this? I must be getting old. Yeah, thank you. Yes, I have the guts. Oh. Being an according to maid? Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. This is all good for the phantom fees, right? No, of course. Hi! Hi, this is Becky! Oh, wait, it's you. Well, it'll be 5,000 yen with the crest fee included, you know. Is that okay with you? Yeah. I see. Okay. I'll head over right away then. This is your room, huh? Hmm. How do I put this? Uh, never mind. So, what kind of kid are you? The way you opposed Mr. Kamoshida, I'd say that you're earnest and have a strong sense of justice. That being said, you called a maid service and requested me? I don't have any friends. I see. Oh, that's right. You have a criminal record. Thanks for thinking. No, thanks for remembering. Okay, then how about this? I'll let you skip class a few times. It's tough not having any place where you belong, isn't it? However, I reserve the right to change my mind if your grades drop. In an exchange, you won't tell anyone that I'm moonlighting as a maid. Sound good? I promise. Then it's a deal. I made a deal with my teacher, who's in a maid dress. Yep, that's really what happened. To think you pulled off so many crimes while attending school. I can't believe you managed that by yourself. There had to be someone at the school helping you. Someone who likes to clean people's rooms. Someone who's supposed to be a teacher. Someone who likes wearing a maid outfit. Someone who's way too old for you. What the fuck are you doing? What do you have to say to that? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it wasn't me. a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the temperance persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Sadeo Kawakami, temperance. Slack up, allows you to perform various activities in Kawakami's class. All right. Alright, we got a really good confidant going there. She's got some great Ugh, abilities. What am I doing here with one of my students? Maybe I should give him a blowjob. And then he'll definitely shut up there. Well, I guess I should get going. Oh, please request me if you need any help with your housework, okay? Uh. Why? I mean, we know each other's secret, and it would really put my mind at ease. Besides, I'm, uh... Horny. Really, really horny. I'm considered over the hill for this type of job, so I don't get requested that often. I'll show my appreciation by making it easy for you to ditch class. 
just think about it, okay? Thank you for using our service. I want to ask you something. That reminds me. Why did Mr. Kamashida change all of a sudden? He grew a conscience. Hmm. Is that your hypothesis? It's still too sudden. I believe it's only natural to think that something must have caused it. Well, that's fine. Thanks for your valuable opinion. I'll take it into account. Is bad today. I bet it's affecting mementos too. Right. I think today's the day we want to get to mementos. We want to get to mementos once every every mission thing, every chapter really, just to get some experience and stuff. I'm trying to trigger this event. It's just well, I don't know why it's not happening. Oh, damn it! Where are you? I got it, the event's happened. Ready, pay attention. School council president follows you around. Oh, she's coming back. Here we go. She's <laughs> pretending to read the mag magazine and everything. Uh, hello, Makoto. Oh. Uh, oh. Hello. Are you alone? Are you going to meet Sakamoto Kun and Takamiki Sen? Uh, um. Um. I don't mean to pry. I was simply wondering. Mhm. Mm magazine she got. Was it, was it a manga? It's a manga. She pretended to read a fucking manga and she's the school council president. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, anyway. I am, I am actually going to go meet Sakamoto Kun and Takamaki Sen. You know what I mean? I'm going to just run away now and you're not going to be able to catch me. Run! 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 There's pollen in the air? Is there really that much pollen in the air? I can't tell. Hold on, if I remember correctly, we have someone to intel on a possible target. Let's check on that in before we head into mementos. 
Okay. Well, then. well, think back to Kamoshida. There was something vital we did before we stole his treasure, yes? What? Come on, just tell us. Oh, oh do you mean the calling car? But wait a sec, did we send one last time? The treasure materialises when the change of the target subconscious with a calling car. That's the rule with dealing with a palace. With mementos, it seems like we can just go for the target immediately. What? Wait, what? We don't need a calling card or nothing. Something else already exists that fulfills that role. Fortunately for us, Mishima put a comment upon the forum saying the Phantom Fiends are coming. For a small type, that's enough of a calling card. That alone will put some fear in them for a while. Even at Nakanoha, I must have seen Mishima's comments about him on the fan site. And that's why the nav picked up on him. Huh? Can we really leave something that important to someone else? These eyes and the memento shadows are nothing compared to those of the palace rulers. Still, we need to unanimously agree on our target. No ignoring the rules, even for smaller ones. Anyway, let's get discussing the in intel we've got. Listen up. This intel is on the arrogant brown-haired bully. He's a student of Shooting Academy. Things have gone a little too far for just bullying. Though. He's abusing and blackmailing kids. I'm gonna make him pay. He's the perfect target. Come on, let's take him down. Are you sure you aren't just excited to go to mementos? Then again, we can't really leave a guy like that be, so we should go. No objection, yeah. right? Mm, we're good to go. Okay, unanimous decision. Okay, all that's left now is to take down the target for a minute. Oops. Let's see. The number of targets residing in moving mementos is one. Now then, shall we head in? Yes. Let us go. They're basically like escape ropes for battles, you can get away without immediately using them, I think. <laughs> the pollen's out of control today, they'll definitely have an impact on moments. Could we go on a pollen day? The mementos is gonna some of the enemies will be sick, like um... Yeah. The type of the change will depend on what kind of the weather is. This might turn out to be useful. Days of bad weather like rain, mementos will be more dangerous. However, this is a chance. However, this is also a chance to get extra items. Enemy reinforcements will be more common, but sometimes there will be rare enemies. Also, the items you find may be more valuable, and there will be a greater number of chests. Oh yeah. Hey. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Stop talking. Let's go. Let's get on with it. Days of heavy pollen, in addition to the usual effects of bad weather, the shadows and the mementos will sometimes be sleeping. Let's go! Okay. Right. Now, the new thing I've got for mementos is. We're going to use different outfits. Keep my garner. We're in Mementos, we're going to be using different outfits. I don't know what use case in the same clothes, it's because I didn't pick it. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to swap out my Garner. Since his outfits are pretty shit. I'm going to put in Yusuke. No, Yusuke is in. What the hell's going on? Thing about outfits is the music changes as well, so we get some different music from Room Mementos. Do, 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 do. Persona! You can hit the Go ring! Down. Joker took one out! 
That's Ryuji's thing. See how we just insta killed it. Yeah. This rides. <sighs> um, the outfit's called Yasagami High. I think it's a uh, the high school of a previous Persona game. They're wearing the school uniforms for it. So. Oh, this is obviously going to be a little different. Pretty hard to drive on the ramp. She's a girl. All right, the first move is ours. This enemy is weak to weak. Come, ravage them. Joker took one out. All right. Persona. Joker took one out. All right. Not over yet! Persona! Bam! Nope, we'll miss you. Yes. Only one more. Let's go! Give me some money. Nope. Wow, he gave me a hundred yen. And I've just accepted a hundred yen. Brilliant. All according to plan. Hey, this is where we came last time, right? Yeah, and just as I expected, the path ahead is still open. Alright, time to check it out. Alright, we don't know what to expect from here on, we better watch our backs. Our cautiousness is good, but let's not linger in one area for too long, okay? In Mementos, there's a certain shadow that's far stronger than the rest. We'd have no chance against it. What? Are you for real? You should have told us that from the start. If you spend too much time in one area of mementos, a frightening shadow called the Reaper may appear. The Reaper is extremely powerful and engaged in, in, in battle is not advised. If you hear the sound of chains, leave the area immediately. Okay. Okay. 
There's slimes again. Okay, he just self-destructed and killed all his friends. Still fight. Let us go. Rona, let's gun it. Hold the wheel steady, Joker. I've got this. Panther's cheering gives me a turbo boost. Getting warm. I've got to um, go and do my dinner now, so yeah, I've got to go off. I'll save up here. I hope we can save it. It's not fast travel, yeah. I'll just add this. 